everybody, and welcome to the show. It's the next episode in the game. Okay. Cool. Welcome back. This is uh, it's my next and possibly final entry into uh, my playthrough of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. I think this is my longest one to date. Well, uh, most episodes to date for the... Uh, for the LOZ from A to Z playthrough. Uh, partly because uh, so several of the episodes were, you know, like two hours, a little over two hours long as compared to some of the other games where I was doing four and five hour streams. I've, I've metered myself a little better in this one. <laughs> I'm not wearing myself out as much. All right. So, it looks like there's one off the coast of Great Fish Isle. Last we left off, by the way, uh, for those who didn't see the end of uh, the last playthrough, last we left off, we had uh, gotten all of the Triforce shards, except for one that we could, and uh, we just got all the uh, charts deciphered. So there are three, three Triforce shards in the ocean. We had to get Tingle to decipher where they were. We're going after one of those right now. Oh. Each of the shards had a little adventure behind it. Ah, there's, there would be one of the shards right there. There be one of the shards. Mm. Oh. Hey, Anton. <laughs> I like how, like, there's a shard right here. Greyfish Isle. You know, this is where Jaboon was supposed to be, but Ganon, Ganon's troops, I guess, uh, or maybe Ganon himself, wrecked this island. <laughs> so there was a pearl and a piece of the Triforce right here. Yeah, didn't get any of those. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get, bad guy. Just being all destructive without a plan. We haven't explored this island much. Uh, there's not much to see, but we do have a hookshot now. If there are any uh, areas we can reach. Oh, there's a little cave. If I can get in there, I I've never been in there before. Let's, let's give it a shot. Yeah, just wreckage. Wreckage everywhere. I can get up there. Can I get up there? Maybe. Maybe there? These could all just be decorative trees. Like, I can't actually grab them. That's what it looks like. Like, I'm definitely close enough to touch it. But... I'll try shooting at it. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Ah, well. Just meant to be an example of destruction, I guess. Alright, so let's go to the next one. The next shard will be... I'm not sure which item this is. I'll have to look around. It's not Paw Print Island. It's not a fairy island. It kind of looks like one of the fairy islands, but it's not that. Ah, here we go. Stone Watcher Island. Ah, we were just there a minute ago. And it's only southeast of here. Oh. Hmm. Oh, well. I won't do anything. Stone Watcher Island. There it is. Hey, Sam. Derby Shark. What? <laughs> what? What's? The <laughs> I don't know what the meme is. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Derby Shark. Doo 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 doo. <laughs> no. There's another piece. Let's go get it. Surrounded by baddies. We can get it though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I do not know this song, Baby Shark. Uh, uh, I'll look it up though. So. Baby Shark. Oh, it's a kid's song. 
right. I'm, I'm listening to it now. Oh, that's a cute fox. Pink Fong. Got one more. One more shark. Let's see. Where is, where is it? Aw, oh, snap. EDM for kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I might have heard this. Maybe shark do 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 do. Mommy shark. <laughs> Daddy shark. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> Daddy shark. Do 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 do. Daddy shark. <laughs> All right. I don't know what this other island is. It looks like we're gonna, gonna have to do some island exploring. So, cool. There, so we don't want to go there. Uh, I'm gonna warp. Darby shark, do 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 do. Darby shark, do 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 do. Darby shark, do 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 do. Darby shark. <laughs> Yay! All right. I'm gonna guess down in the right corner. I, I don't know if that's right, but hold on, I'm getting a. Call. Hello? It's a courtesy call from my local pharmacy. I don't know. I didn't listen to the whole thing. I don't think I have a prescription there. That'd be odd if I had one just sitting there. Like, oh yeah, you forgot to pick it up. Hey there. Amanda, I'm doing all right. How are you doing there? Well, now I've got baby sharks stuck in my head, thanks to thanks to Anton. <laughs> Which is a gift. It's truly a gift. Where be a shark? All right. So at this point, we're just looking for. For an island I haven't been to yet. Do not know which one it is. So we're gonna do a little bit of ocean exploring. And I don't think it's this island, but I'll feed the fish anyway. There there's still a good chunk of the map I haven't I haven't explored yet. Mostly on the on the east end. Oh. Oh, a small fry. Hoy yourself, fish. A fish. A fish. Boating course. Let me ask you something, fry. Have you been using ZR to make your boat jump? Well, have you? Of course, going out to sea to just to jump around would be real dumb if you ask me. Anyway, what you can do is tilt L toggle to move your tilter, <laughs> tiller, to move your tiller just as you, just as you land. That's how you make a sharp turn. If you didn't know that, why don't you try it out? And that's all the info I got to offer. And with that, I'm off. Yes, I have been using that. Thank you for the tip. Take a jump and a sharp turn. So that wasn't the right island. Maybe it's this one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's quite a story there, Sam. <laughs> I don't think 
this is the one, but... Nah, this probably isn't the one. I think this is the one that looks like Orion. Star Isle. It is named after stars, though. Have you seen it, Small Fry? The ghost ship? Cause it's real. It's even been seen here in the in these fairy waters. On nights when the crescent moon faces down, that's when horror rises. That's all the info I got to offer. Ooh. Got a left ear that feels like it needs to pop. Spooter. Spooter doots, spooter doots. Get caught in my spooter doots. Splatter hands, splatter hands, splatter hands. This might be it. Let's make sure. Oh, this is one of the islands that we uh that we got a chart from, so maybe not. We'll see. That's the one. Sweet. Hmm. Hey, Small Fry, do you know about the Nintendo Gallery? The only way in there is to hit a switch that's way up high in the Forest Haven. But the only way to do that would be to bribe one of those gulls by putting a little bait on your head. And that's all the info I got to offer. <laughs> with that, I'm off. You know, we never did do the uh, shooting minigame with, uh, with this dude. Let's do that real quick. So if you give him bait... Again, after you've already discovered the island, you get to do a, a fun mini game just for some rupees. Boy, small fry! Aw, oh, give me a break! What's with using the same bait all the time? Don't they make a premium brand of this stuff? Ah, oh, well, such is life for a fish. So, you want to hear the info about this here island again? Blah, 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 blah. You better be thankful for the clues you got from me. I'm serious. Hey, what's that? Why, Small Fry, that's a fine-looking bow you got there. Where'd you get that? If you're not any, in any kind of hurry, why don't you stop and play with me a bit? Yes. <laughs> oh, of course you will, Fry. And to be honest, you'll be helping me out. See, I've been having some ferocious body aches that only acupuncture can cure. Check it out. I'll give you ten arrows for that bow of yours, and I want you to aim those suckers at me when I leap out of the sea. Yeah, see if you can peg me with them. For each arrow you nail me with, I'll give you 10 rupees. And if you hit me all 10 times, I'll give you 200 rupees. What? You worried about a little old me, small? You worried about little old me, Fry? Ha! Don't be. I'm a man fish. I spent my life being toughened up by seas rougher than you've ever seen. These arrows of yours ain't got nothing on me. Get ready to start, small fry. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. Where are you? Where you go? <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Ooh, that was a close one, actually. Oh, I see. <laughs> he loves it. It's acupuncture for him. <laughs> Are the air is not affected by wind in this game? I'm not sure actually. Uh I got a feeling they're not. But I, I can't be sure. 
Yes, all ten. Mm. Whew. <laughs> Ah, that hit the spot. That completely cured my stiff neck. Well, way to go, small fry. That was perfect. I guess I owe you the 200 rupees I promised you. Well, take it, you thief. So yeah, quick way to get a lot of money if you're decent with the with the aiming and whatnot, which the I feel like the gyroscope helps a lot. <laughs> if you want to do it again, fry, just scatter some more bait for me, okay? And with that, I'm off. Though I think you might have the option to check. The option to turn it off, the gyroscope. For those who have shaky hands, you can just uh, aim normally. Uh, first person camera. No! Ah, well, I'll have to look it up later, but maybe, maybe not. Should be an option. You suck to have to use motion controls if you got shaky hands. Like I had a, I had some moments in the. Uh, in the wind temple here with uh, with Makar where I felt like the arrows were affected by wind. But that could have just been in my head. Dum, 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 dum. Hey, look. Baby shark. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. You. Oh, beware of the butt shark. Ah. Stop it. <laughs> Sharks. You know this ain't this isn't this is a bad idea for you to come at me. I'm just trying to explore this island. Just trying to explore a little bit. Mm, okay. Whoa! Well that's one way to quickly stop. Cool. Just to just pull out your bow or your whatever weapon you have that goes into first person mode. And you immediately stop. Come on, let me up. Oh well, I'll just jump off. Come on, let me out. Oh well. Some trees don't seem to want to be grabbed. I'm just betting there's a choo choo here somewhere. Summer? Somewhere. Uh, oh, do I get over there? I don't know. Perhaps there's a way through. Looks like it, don't it? This is fun. This is a unique kind of uh, area we haven't seen yet. So we use our leap to turn these. Cool. Like big old water tops. Ha ha ha. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Went in the light. I don't know if, like, are there any Zeldas where arrows affected by wind? I can't, can't think of which ones are. Like, I don't think Ocarina of Time was. They, there were a couple wind puzzles, like in the Shadow Temple, but I don't think arrows were bothered by them, by the wind. Ah. What? So the next, we only have one more shard to go. The next one we're gonna go get, I think the goal here is to kill the Babas. No? That Deku, my my. Ah, okay, good. We have a. Now we have a way to get. It. <coughs> Deku Blarblars. And. We also have a way to take out these. Without having to throw something. Cool. Alright, that's how you get to the other part of the island. 
baby shark. I bet you there's a choo-choo up here. It's a blue chew. Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> I'm gonna grab your treasure. Yeah, so I don't have to kill you. I think I have seven now. Choo-choo jellies. Blue chew jellies. Oh. Mmm, a treasure chart. <laughs> oh. Do, 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 do. Try to open this, find this chart and open it before that choo choo gets me. Alright, I don't know who that is. Alright, so back to Outset Island. Hey, buddy. Yes. I didn't mean to talk to you. You bring some water from the forest haven and dump it on these plants to make them revitalized. There are, I don't know how many Koroks on different islands, but there are a handful of them. And each one of them might give you a heart piece? Something like that? I mean, look, I have a lot of heart pieces to go. There are only, what, like four... Four or five uh, big pieces of heart you get in this game. You get one from Dragon Roost, Forest Haven. I think Forsaken Fortress, after you beat the Helmarok. Then the Wind and Earth Temple. So not a whole lot. Uh, the rest are all just find them piece by piece. Okay, so let's let's go let's go home to the Forest Haven. See Grandma. I'm glad we made Grandma better. I hated seeing her sad. She's such a good. Actually, before we do that, sorry, I'm gonna do do one more task. Uh, where is uh, Bomb Island? Bomb Island. I think that's the one I want to go to, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think that's it. I want to finish this trading sequence. Um, and I think I'm on my last or second to last piece of it. Uh, it's just I want to get the secret egg, and we already almost we we're already almost at the end of this trading sequence thing. And I've kind of put it off until this yeah until this very end part. It shouldn't take long at all. Bomb Island. So we go southeast from here. It's one square over. One square to the southeast. Shooby doo dee, shooby doo doo. Wow. Go ahead and get. I think it was a pinwheel. Yeah. Ooh. Many. So the magic armor in this game. They changed it up for this version of it, and originally, it was, um, it consumed magic to use it. Hence the magic armor. Uh, however, for this remake, they, uh, they made it consume rupees instead. Like the magic armor in, um, in Twilight Princess. Except that the magic armor in Twilight Princess would constantly use rupees, like, Every second, it would use two. Oh, sweet! He's a heart. Uh, but in this one, it only uh, drops. It drops a handful of rupees each time you take damage. So it's not a constant buildup. So it's probably the best magic armor in the series. Considering you can carry like five thousand rupees, that's pretty dang good. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. No, oh, boy, that's. A pinwheel, isn't it? In that case, would you be interested in trading for this sickle moon flag? Yes. Satisfactory. Then the fee will be 40 rupees, maybe. Thanks. That settles things. Okay, so we trade this. So, merchant's oath, we know this. Thanks again. Now we either go back to Windfall right now. Let's let's check. Let's try that. 
Either we just finished all the trading sequence, or we have one more trade to go. And it'll be either the Merchant and Great Fish Isle, or the one on Mother and Child Isle. So what we're going to do first is check with the, uh, <clears throat> with the Sail Merchant. Looks like maybe one more spot, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, young master, look. Hardy, my shop has a wide variety of products to choose from. It's a cornucopia. Thanks to you, young master, every morning the postman comes with packages from the traveling salesman you traded with. At last, my humble stall has the appearance of a full-fledged store. My dear, your unflagging de dedication has strengthened my determination to live my life for the success of my business. Master, you are the savior of my stall. I must thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is my most prized possession, next to my hoodie coat, of course. <laughs> it is none other than the Zunari family, tre family treasure. Please accept it. Oh, oh snap! You got the magic armor. Use your rupees to create a barrier around you that protects you from energy attack, enemy attacks. You won't expend rupees unless you take damage from an enemy or other hazard. Yes. This is the only heirloom I brought with me when I moved from my hometown. Well, excluding the lovely sale you purchased from me earlier, of course. This is a magical heirloom, one that calls up a mysterious power to protect your body from harm. Of course, you can use it even when you are sailing the open... Oh, of course, you can even use it when you open sail the, the open seas. My dear, please use this to protect yourself as you seek out more merchants. I beg of you. And please be on the constant lookout for new and exciting products. Not the, uh, that I have anything left to reward you with if you find any. I think there's one more. Like I can trade like for a statue or something. But... Yay, magic armor. Yeah. Pretty dang invulnerable. <laughs> Alright. So that was the end of the trading sequence. I just had one left. And now I'm OP. <laughs> I got this I got the grandma soup. And now I got this. I don't know if they can be used in conjunction. I've never tried that. I'll have to uh give that a shot. So, let's get the last piece of Triforce, which we need to go back to Outset for. And we get to go through the Great Gauntlet. Well. Pretty grass, grass. Hey, buddy. Buddy. Uh, okay. Let us redirect the wind. Friend, I see you're still carrying pots on your head. Magic! Mm. 
<laughs> oh boy. This is it. Ooh, perfect. Hmm. Had one empty bottle. <laughs> the Savage Labyrinth. Whoa! All right. Deep in the never-ending darkness, the golden shard you seek awaits. Deep in the never-ending darkness. Ah. The double hook shot. Nah, not in this game. The first game the double hook shot appears in is the uh, is Twilight Princess. Shuba dooba dooba dishu. No, no range increase in this one either. Uh, you just get the hook shot. Uh, yeah. Unless there's some secret range increase that I don't know about, uh, but that would be totally optional. In um, Ocarina of Time, there's a long shot. Ocarina of Time's hook shot, once you get it once you get it upgraded to a long shot, the longest hook shot in the series. I That's super duper range. That I want to try using once we get to a, an area with uh, harder enemies down here. What I'm gonna do is put on the magic armor and take a sip of grandma's soup. Because I don't know if if it's taking a hit, because with grandma's soup the effect is uh, it heals all your hearts and your magic, and you get double the attack power until you take damage. Now, I don't know if that's until you get hit once or until you lose a piece of your heart. So if it's if it's the latter, then the magic armor makes it super de duper duper. I guess I'll try that now. Uh, grandma's. Oops, gotta gotta head out of the Okay. Grandma soup. Grandma soup. <laughs> So you'll notice my blade is, uh, my sword is golden right now instead of, uh, the usual white glow. It's a golden glow. It's a grandma soup. Yeah. Dang, nice. So far, we haven't taken a hit. Grandma soup is awesome because you get to use it twice. And I'll just be safe and not, not have it out. 
grandma soup. Oh, it's grandma soup. And here's a here's a way out if you want to leave early. Mm. Don't have much use for rupees other than just added defense for the magic armor at this point. Oh yeah, <laughs> good point. How's the labyrinth? Straightforward by the looks of it. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it shouldn't be called a labyrinth, should it? Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I just took a hit, but it didn't damage me, so I still get the uh, the added benefit of Grandma's awesome, awesome. Ah! Oh, almost. <laughs> Whoops. I almost took a hit because I took it off for a second. Sweet. That's good to know. I never tried combining the effects of both of these things. So there's a there's a cheap slash pro strat <laughs> if you if you want to have double the attack power for a long time. Have your magic armor on. Sweet. It does it does tend to make the uh, that noise the whole time. There is also a uh, one more extra item in this game, right? The maybe you get it in this area. Maybe you get it in this area. Forget what it does, but it's like a mask, right? I think it's this one. I think it's this game. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about it for until just now. Some kind of mask that does something. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> taking, no, taking hits, but taking no damage. Just losing some rupees. Totally worth it to keep my grandma armor. <laughs> or to keep my grandma attack. Channeling grandma. Love of grandmas coming through in my attacks, making them twice as strong. Which 3D Zelda game do I prefer? Um, oh, a lot of them. <laughs> like, I don't know if I have a favorite of 3D Zelda. That's a hard question. Like, especially as I'm playing through them right now, uh, I feel like I gotta give them all. A fair shake before I. They're all, they're all good for different reasons. A very committal answer, I know. That's awesome. I'm thinking you guys have one hit each. I feel like the magic armor in this game acts like a uh, Sonic. Like he, his rings fall out. Uh, but okay. I'll try to, I try to be honest with uh. Favorite three. What are some of my favorites? Why? Um. Hmm. I'll tell you. Uh. Yeah. They have. They have to be favorited for different reasons. Stylistically, this. This is one of my favorites. It feels the. The fighting feels good, even though it's not the most complex. Uh. Sword fighting in the series. It's. It's flashy and dashy and. Just, the way the camera works around Link when he's when he's swinging his sword is really cool. Uh, it's just a pretty game. I like the feel of Twilight Princess. Uh, it's it's uh, it's attempt at realism. I like it. it, it I, I won't like the graphics in Twilight Princess haven't aged all that gracefully. The way other than Link and one or two other characters, the character designs haven't um, haven't aged well. I think, like they tried to go, they tried to do a realistic slash cartoony approach with that one, and some of the characters just kind of look weird. Uh, but I mean, the main duo, Link and Midna, look awesome. Zelda looks great. Uh, 
I think Ilya looks fine. Uh, and the, uh, the chieftain, I can't remember the dude's name, but the guy with the, uh, like, long hair from Kakariko Village in that game looks cool. Uh, a lot of the other characters have just weird proportions and features that... I don't know. I don't think that, I don't think that style aged very well. Uh, Breath of the Wild, I think they nailed it with the, uh... This is the style they were going for, it just looks really cool. Uh, uh, this is me just talking about the, uh, the look of gameplay right now. As far as, like, the gameplay goes, um, Breath of the Wild is just probably my favorite open world game. And that's, that's saying a lot, because I've played a lot of open world games, like, like Fallout and Skyrim, uh, but just the ability to explore your world on your own terms that Breath of the Wild gives you, being able to climb almost any surface, great. One of the greatest features in an open world game. Whereas like you, you play games like Skyrim and you're having to kind of uh, uh, glitch yourself up the mountains. <laughs> just, uh, it feels unnatural and uncomfortable and yeah, Breath of the Wild just, just nailed the uh, ability to uh, get around. It feels good to play, and I've I've just I've spent so so many hours just losing myself in that world. However, Breath of the Wild gives up a lot of what classic Zelda's have had in spades. Uh, the the transition from like overworld to dungeon has always um, has always been like a key feature in the in the series, and I feel like that was lost in Breath of the Wild. The dungeons, the uh, like the guardians in that game, just felt so samey. And I, I, I get it; they were supposed to, but uh, it, it it made the dungeons feel a little bit boring in that game. The key feature of that game is definitely the overworld. And that's not lost on me in any sense. The overworld, probably the greatest overworld of any Zelda. Uh, but the lack of the lack of tools and like no hook shot, no, not a lot of creative tools. However, uh, the the ability to the the having all your skills handy right when you start the game is a cool way to go about it so I don't know <laughs> it's it's a hard choice I can't say that I have a favorite I mean Ocarina of Time is amazing <laughs> I can go back and play that one pretty much any time yeah I don't, I don't know if it's it's not fair to me to... I, I, I don't think I... And I, I don't think I'd be giving each of the games a fair shake if, until I uh, play through them all again. And I still haven't done that with this. I still... Skyward Sword might be one of my least fa favorites. Yeah, I, th I think that'd be a fair thing to say. Uh, but I haven't replayed it. I know that I'm looking forward to replaying it. Uh, because I... Uh, the biggest complaint on that one is they force you to use uh, motion controls, but I, I enjoyed it. I, I had a fun time with it. I wasn't someone who was that offended by using motion controls. I get it. I get why people don't like being forced to uh, use a certain play style. It's, it's a valid complaint, but... I kind of put myself in the headspace of, well, this is life now, so <laughs> this is what I'm going to do. Uh, Twilight Princess was on both the Wii and the GameCube. What they did with that one is uh, the GameCube version, uh, they, they were mirrored. The GameCube version had Link left-handed like he is in most of the series. As you'll see in this one, he's left-handed. Uh... And the world is basically the world is flipped from the Wii U ver or from the Wii version. The Wii version 
he's right-handed because most people are right-handed. So they have, have him use the sword in his right hand. And the world is uh, the reverse in that one. And I might play the GameCube version if I have an option to uh, hook up my GameCube with, like, the... Uh, I'm sure there's like a converter cable that I could uh No, never mind. We have the we have the uh HD version for the for the Wii U. I'll just do it that way. Yeah. Forgot we had that. I'll be I'll just play that one because I haven't played that version yet. And uh it doesn't force motion controls on you, which is awesome. <laughs> Oh no! I some I wait oh my potion Oh good. <laughs> I turned it off for a second for some reason, but I didn't get any I didn't take any hits. Sweet. <laughs> oh, don't you open up at me. <laughs> trying to get me. You know what? I'm gonna freeze you. Ah, dang it! He my controls. Skyward Sword was only on the, um, yeah, I think that's right, only on the Wii? That sounds right. Yeah, yeah, only on the Wii. I know there's been some talk on and off about doing a remake of it, but it seems to be in one of those states of, they're like, ah, we will, we won't, we will, we won't, there's not... There hasn't been any real confirmation on it. I think that my guess is that Nintendo is probably running into issues of uh, gameplay fidelity with uh, trying to port, trying to remake it for the Switch. Because I think part of what made it so accurate, or as accurate as it was for the for the Wii, was the sensor bar, and the Switch doesn't use one. It uses gyroscope. For its, uh, for its Joy-Cons. Now, I will say that I really enjoyed playing Okami for the Switch. I was surprised at how well the gyroscope used, like using the paintbrush and the slash attacks and all that kind of thing. It seemed to work really well, but I don't know how well that, how accurate that that, the, that kind of play will be uh, with, with a game that requires super accurate sword play. That I'm, I'm guessing that's the problem that they're uh, running into and uh, if they're trying to develop the game. All right. I would love to see a remake in Skyward Sword where they don't require using, um, using motion controls. Like I've heard people suggest, uh, yeah, I mean, since the game is so centered around enemies blocking attacks, you could maybe do something like, oh snap, we got the last piece of the Triforce. At last, you found the last shard. Fused together all eight form the Triforce of Courage. Uh, so we also have the option to go further in, which we're gonna do, because I think there's the last secret item here. Eh. Use the light, Link. Use the light! Uh, what was I saying? So, uh, people were suggesting, like, Metal Gear Rising, which I haven't played, but what it did for sword fighting was use, like, the right toggle to direct your sword attacks. Yeah, maybe something like that. Give you the option to use more controls, or give you the option to use more classic controls with a toggle. I could... I think they... I think they'd have success with that. Ah! I did it again! Dang it. Quit turning my armor up, me. <laughs> here, here, this is what I'll do. I'm gonna I'm gonna change my uh bombs. There. I tend to accidentally use <laughs> hit my uh R R button. And that's where I had my uh here actually I'm gonna do this. There we go. R is a better trigger button, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh oh. Boing. Alright. So neither of the arrows work all that well on redeads. They're just a nuisance. 
Ugh. I am looking forward to Skyward Sword, though, because it has a really cool story. Oh, snap. Did these guys knock my shield away? I'm not, I'm not sure. But yeah, it like goes away when they scream at me for a second. It could just be cinematic. That's a, that's a good attack on their part, if that's what happens. <clears throat> That's doing anything. Ah! All right, so I'm gonna have to use the leaf. Get out of here. You think you're threatening? I have the power of the wind on my side. Uh oh. I got jinxed. I got jinxed. Oh snap! These guys can ignore my armor. Well, I'm back to normal attack now. Alright. You jinxy bubbles. You don't hurt a lot, but you do create a series of problems for me. Good to know. Jinx bubbles can ignore your magic armor. Groose's theme. <laughs> also one of the best songs of all time. Groose's theme. I feel like the characters, the story and the characters are fleshed out really well in and, uh, Skyward Sword. And it certainly gets a lot of credit for that. That's good. You can also swing this sideways. Oops. Whoa! Get in. Ooh. Get him. Turn around. There we go. <laughs> and uh, some of the some of the concepts in Skyward Sword are really good. I really like the time uh, mechanic, the uh, the desert of time or whatever place. It's a cool one. Oh no, pose! Don't you, don't you come near me. With your, ah, with your boogily woogilies. Oh. Uh -uh. Ah. Don't you come after me. Don't you do it. Ah. <laughs> no, uh No, sir. Get out. Here, get out of here. Oh, I'm gonna get you. <laughs> trying, to, trying to jinx me too. Oh, ah! He's a coming. He's a coming for me. Uh uh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> However, uh, one, one, one piece of phrase I can give to uh, one of the games. Twilight Princess for having having a, having a part of the game that had one of the biggest emotional effects on me. In the once, we, once we get to that uh, that game, I'll, uh, I'll you'll know. I'll probably be crying a little bit on screen. And I'll tell you why when we get there. I'd rather save that story for when we get to the actual the actual game. a little less threatening now that we have magic armor. 
get out of here. They're re-dead. They're re-dead. Sweet. That stuns them. So we... I guess we can use the light to hurt them. One shot. What's one shot? Hard fest. Oh, that's a boomerang. We're going. Both in one hit. Whoa. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Hammer time. Oh my god, that's awesome. I don't think I ever squished one of these guys before. How about you? You want to be squished? Ah, that didn't work. Ah, what? Oh no. I got possessed. <laughs> they got me. Ah. I like how they charge up. Like, ah, I'm gonna get you. Giveaway. No I wonder. I'm gonna try to hit him. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, Poe. Ha <laughs> One shot. One shot the game. Sounds fun. Just ah! No, stop it! Ah! No, stop! Let me go! Stop it! Ah! They got me. Darn it. I was avoiding so well. I mean, backed into one. Okay, so light doesn't hurt. But I bet leaves do. Maybe they should <laughs> leave me alone. Ow! Stop laughing at me! <laughs> you meany mean! <laughs> ah! ah! Alright, bomb time. Bombs are good against these guys. Whoa! So apparently, uh, I was uh, I was watching a video about breaking down like the different iterations of Link throughout uh, throughout the games, and I guess according to the Hyrule Historia, the the Link from Link to the Past, Link's Awakening, and the two Oracle games is the same Link. Okay, that's yeah. He's called the Hero of Legends. This is the Hero of the Winds. Ocarina of Time's Link was the Hero of Time. Uh, but that Link of those four games is called the Hero of Legend. And then uh, Link Between Worlds, which takes place in like the in the same same Hyrule as uh, Link to the Past. That's a different. Link. That's like a generation or two later. And uh, he's called the New Hero of Hyrule. The new hero makes sense because it does take place in the same Hyrule, so I guess they would want to make reference to that. So they call him the new hero of Hyrule. I bet we 
get Wiz Roads in here. Ah! <laughs> My God. Okay. Oh, good. I get to ignore electricity. Oh, no, we're not. No, I don't. <laughs> Took out a handful of them, though, didn't I? That bombs would be useful in here. Ow! <laughs> here, here. Okay. Eat it. Have a bomb. Hold <laughs> on, you little goobers. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, ooh. That's how to do it. Ow! I stunned myself. One pun damage. Yeah, sure. I'd love to. Uh, I, I would love to get a uh, uh, link uh, to that game and uh, learn about it. I wonder what happens when we do this. Yep. I knew we were gonna see Wiz Rube soon. bummer with the, uh, the magic arrows because there's a little bit of a charge time. You have to wait for one's effects to die down. But with the regular arrows, just psh, 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 you can shoot them off. It's a good trade-off, I guess. More damage, a little more time to charge. Okay, here we go. You know what? Cut them all down in one go. Fact. Grandma time! Ah, my favorite soup. Yeah, Grandma protecting me. Get out of here! Got the power of Grandma on my side. The power of Grannies is strong with you. <laughs> yeah! Cool, I'll, uh... Save that for later. Uh, re-dead time. Urgh, I don't like you. <laughs> you stopping my hurricane. Three hits, though. That's pretty dang good. Who wants a bomb? Is it you, my friend? Oh, yeah. Sweet. Cool. <laughs> All right, uh, let's start on them. Never mind. Ha! Ah! Jump attack works. <laughs> and also a uh, fire arrow seems to do a little bit of stunniness. No, it doesn't. What was stunning them earlier? Wind? Probably bombs. Ah, well. One, two, one. Just three with the, uh, with the golden sword. Golden sword. Oh, snap. Let's do it. <laughs> Go ahead, hit me. <laughs> Knock me out of my stun. Ow! Oh, make some room. <laughs> ah. Whatever. Come on. Power of healthy grandmas. Ow. Ah! Hit them both with that with that fairy. Come on, buddy. Whoa!
Bye-bye. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Oh, what? Woo! Is it easy? Yeah. Bring it, chump. Huh. Oh, ho, oh, oh. Woo, woo, woo. I bet it's three dark nuts. No? Okay. Oh, it's two of these. All right. This makes it easy. You gave me a bunch of bombs. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! <laughs> How are you not blowing up, dude? There we go. <laughs> all right, all right. Gonna get you with a bomb. Ooh. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> that bomb delivered the last hit on him. Easy, you say? Ah, four dark nuts. Come on, Dan. And uh, something. <laughs> Help, Splitter! Woohoo! Whoa! Bring it. Gotcha. No more of them, you guys. Yeah! Woo! Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> no kung fu, sir. Whoa! I only got me that time. Oh! <laughs> Fire breathing statues trying to get me. <sighs> but they were no match for grandma soup. <laughs> no one's any match for Grandma Soup. Oh, we got a special item right here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a Happy Boy Smiley Mask. You got the hero's charm. This mystical, mystical trinket gives you the ability to see life forces of your foes. Touch its icon on the item screen to equip it. Uh, where is it? I don't see it. Oh, okay. Cool. Yeah, so it just lets you see the health bar of enemies, which is, which is useful. Uh, oops. All right, I'm going to take that off. Yee! I'm smiley all the time. The one thing, it's, it's a cute little charm. But you know what? It cover it covers up Link's expressiveness, so I don't know if I want to use it. But yeah, now we got all the Triforce, and so we shall venture back to Hyrule and finish this game today. But first, we're gonna see Gram Gram and get some soup. Hey, Grandma. Oh, my dear sweet Link, aren't you hungry? Would you like Grandma to fill the bottle, fill your bottle with some of her special homemade soup? Yes, please. Oh, you're such a well-mannered well boy. Here you go. Thanks, Grandma. You got the elixir soup. Yeah, 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 yeah. You and your sister love my soup, don't you? If you run out, you come back and see me. I can make it for you whenever you like. Yeah, thanks, Grandma. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, we got the Triforce. We got the Triforce and the mask. Let's go back to Hyrule. All right. Oh, snap.
Well done, Link. With the shards you have co collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. Let's do it. Let's do it. Time for the end game. We're ready. We're pretty dang. We're pretty dang ready. Well done, Link. You must show the Triforce piece you have assembled to the gods. It's right here. What? Oh, what's this? There on your hand. The Triforce piece is now... The Triforce piece now dwells within you. It is the Triforce of Courage, proof that you are indeed the true hero. You have controlled the winds and crossed the seas, and here, near the end of your quest, the power of the gods has been bestowed upon you. Surely from this moment on, you shall be known as the Hero of the Winds. Link, Hero of Winds. Go forth to Hyrule, to Zelda's side. Oh yeah. I, I like the interpretation that I've recently heard about uh, this Link, is that uh, not all of the Links, like, he wasn't chosen by fate, like a lot of other links. He basically forced, uh, yeah, like he, he forced the gods to recognize him as a hero. He had to drag up pieces of Triforce from the ocean and from other places. Like, his sister was kidnapped and he had to, he had to leave and save her and like got kind of pulled into this journey and the world needed a hero and, uh, and he was willing to step up. So instead of like the gods choosing him uh, through fate, he he was like, I, "This has to be done. I'm <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna be the guy to make this happen." And uh, uh oh, the castle's been ransacked. Mm. Zelda, where are you? Yep. All right. Oh, there she is. Yep. Hey, Zelda. <laughs> oh, dang it. <laughs> you deceived yourself. Did you think you'd be safe inside the castle? Foolish. Now that my power has been restored, there is no safe haven for you. I've taken your precious Zelda, and here you shall fall into eternal slumber. What? No, I won't. I don't think so. This is the best you got. Couple dark nuts. I just fought four of these dudes. I'm not even going to use my magic on them. Got a bit of grandma sword power. Mm. And no, you can't put your sword back in the pedestal. Pedestal. Yeah. 
Dang it, Ganon. Hmm. All right. Guess I get to go through now. <laughs> That's awesome. That's cool. <laughs> he has shattered the barrier with the might of the Master Sword. Okay. A little bit of downward momentum if you're walking downstairs. <laughs> Now we get to see some of Hyrule. The original concept for this game would have had a lot bigger Hyrule. Uh, but I guess they just... Too grand of a concept back then. Didn't have as much... Didn't have all the time and resources. That's okay. Ideas like... There would be uh, fishers... Uh, up, up on the, uh, up on the surface of the water, and they would, uh, be dangling fish hooks down, trying to catch fish, and Link could, like, grab one of those hooks and be pulled up to the surface. What we got instead was, uh, this little, you know, kind of walkway, but, you know, we get the idea that, yes, we're, we are in Hyrule, and we're same part of it now. Ting. I should I should not use the magic armor. <laughs> it's kind of cheapening this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch my loadout just so it's not uh, super easy. Items, items, magic, items. Uh, there we go. And I think I actually need that. Oh, I see some keys. Pieces. Alright. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm. Ganon's Tower. Now, this area seems like they were kind of going for that Ocarina of Time uh, last gauntlet of the areas of, like, the temples you went through. Except... It's more of a boss rush than a uh, than a way to use all your skills that you've learned up to this point. I prefer Ocarina of Time's version uh, method. This one just... I feel like boss rushes at the end of the game are just tedious. It's like, oh, yay. I get to rebeat all these things that I did. The unfortunate part is you don't even get to use all of your... Uh, Okay, never mind. You do get to... Okay. I, I thought it was just the bosses in this one. But now it looks like it's a lead up to the bosses plus the bosses. That's good. At least it's not... At least it's not just the boss fights. This is fine. It's fine. Cool. I accept this. <laughs> Gotta make our way through the wind. Ah! No! I lost my grandma juice. 
that coin, that Rubido. And the magic. Now. Weird thing about these bosses that you don't you don't get to um hold on, maybe you do. Yeah, you don't get to use your full arsenal. You basically get to use what items you had by this time in the game. For this boss, it's pretty much everything except the magic armor. But like we go to the we do the dragon boost boss and it's not. It's just a couple items anyway. Alright, little guys. Let's do it. Punch me! Ah! Oh no! This is bad. Oh shoot! Oh! oh, oh. oh. The rusty is the piece. Wow! <laughs> Ouch! Ooh, that hurt. That hurted. Good battle music. Ups the intensity. That and the like mini boss music too. Uh, is it the same song? I'm not sure. It feels like a duel. All right, let's go this way. What are you doing there? Alright, looks like the forest haven. So, huh. Well, I think I'm going to have to use that. Mr. Mister. There we go. <laughs> now, since we're way up here, we gotta hit that one again. <laughs> we got little enemies, or one enemy. Two enemies. Grr. 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 
There we go. Do 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 do. Ooh. Ah, a nice leisurely stroll through memory lane. Is there anything good in these? Yeah, sweet. Could use some healies. Wow! <laughs> what? Never had an attack like that before. Creepy. Like warped boss music in these uh in these replays. Because <laughs> the Master Sword's all powered up. Just a couple hits. Awesome. <sighs> well, that was dandy. Mm, I'm going to go to... Which one? Which one? This one. No. Ow! Oh, well, that completely missed me somehow. <laughs> Just gonna ignore that. Hmm, okay. Magic. Huh? Rupees. Rupees! Run! Ow, ow, ow. Goodbye. Ooh, a fairy. Hey, buddy. Can, I, can you help me? Oh, whatever. All right. All right, all right. Zoop. Shoop. Shoop -a -dee -boo. Ah! Uh oh. I gotta run to the end of this hall before he comes back to life. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Ah, he got up. Stank butt. Ah, no. No, no. <laughs> I gotta do the same, it looks like. Stairs, go up the stairs. Doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> ah. There's one. I have to do the same puzzle, but a little different. We got a down the hall. There we go. <sighs> Alright. Put him there. Run back as quick as we can and be ready to zap them again if we don't make it up the stairs. Up the stairs. Whoa, wrong way. Oh, what? I want to 
fight you. Oh, come on! Oh! <laughs> yes! <laughs> the stair pushed me up. It was just high enough for that to work in my favor. Good. I don't have to do it a few times. Alright. It's the big boo. I mean, ho. Oh. Say that, and then he redirects the line. Just to mess with you. There we go. Let's throw you to this one. Here's a pillar for you, buddy. Boom! Ha! All right, one more boss. that before. Head into new just. Okay. So this one we gonna need. Yeah. Need our trusty thingamabobber. Thingamablar blar. What are you thinking? Well, I guess some of these skulls are dangerous. Better shoot at all of them. That was one. Ah! Oh, that's annoying. Switching to your sword makes you step forward just a little bit. Enough for you to knock yourself off. And the skulls come back. Dumb. Ooh. There he is, the best enemy. <laughs> what the ghost or the uh or the bubbles. Okay. 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 Back. I guess I have to go down. Okay. There we go. Zoop. Whoa. Probably want to swing all the way over, huh? Yeah. Ah. Now. There we go. That's what we want to do. Climbing up the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad guy. Here comes the boss. Whew. 
Got access to the uh, grappling hook. The grapple D hook. Ooh. Ow. You know, I'm just going to pull it right back down. Dragon. Or a draggy dragon. Mm, that's excellent. He's mad. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the one item that you do get to take with you is the upgraded Master Sword. Makes the bosses pretty easy. Except for the uh, sandworm one. It's still pretty tough. For me. For me. Mainly because of the having to retarget. Because of all the babies. Alright, here we go. Further into the tower. Ooh. here. Uh, I'm going to take a guess, actually. I want to say, I want to see if I remember. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Nope. Okay. One, two, three, time I'm trying it. Alright. The answer's on the other side. And it's... They make this puzzle super obvious. And you'll see why I didn't want to go to this room in a second. Oh! One! Two! I wonder what the answer is. Three, four. Oh, and we get a hint. Link, you must remember well the appearance of this room. The shape of the floor, the number of items hanging on the walls. Such things are the keys to solving riddles that lie ahead. Do not overlook anything. My God, what a hand hold. <laughs> All right. First, they camera pan to the answer, and they oh, and they do it again when you come in. Uh, why? Why even have a puzzle? What are you teaching? What is this? <laughs> A 
again so bad. Uh, hey, King. I see. So this is the portal through which Ganon was able to seep into the unsuspecting world above. Link, we shall make use of this path that Ganon created for himself. If there is anything from the world above that you believe you need, then climb into the boat and enter the Column of Darkness. Enter the Column of Darkness. Now nah, I'm good, thank you though. So that's our way out if we need to, if we need to leave. All right. I just hit this. What you want me to do, game? Should I play something? not sure where to go at this point um oh okay i think there yeah there's like a tablet over here that i didn't read tablet tablet check the sword hilts of my ser the sword hilts of my servants who lurk deep in the darkness shall be the guidepost that points to me how would you write that sign up Ganon? Yeah. All right. Well, let's try to leave, I guess. Hmm. Ah! Go back. Hmm. What you want, game? Oh, oh, I see. I think I see. I think I see. We're supposed to go... There we go. Jump down. Oh, snap! Ow! Uh-oh. Tennis time! Sword hilts. So we want to go this way. That's one down. Mm hmm. Okay. So instead of having to play tennis, if we get him in that part of his uh his attack pattern, cool. Ha! <laughs> Gotcha. Take your sword. I don't think I can take it with me, though. Ooh, like a final area. Nice gate. Ready? Oh, I know why. <laughs> oh, my 
Oh no! Oh dude! What happened? Did I unplug? I didn't just unplug the system, did I? Oh my god, no. I th <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, please let it still be on. Hold on. Connection with a Wii U console has been lost. Um, this is uh, stinky. Um, hold on. Oh no. <laughs> this stinks. Oh my god. Uh, I think that just happened. Well, okay. Well, I, let's see. Let's see where we left off. I'll probably have to redo all that by myself. That sucks. <laughs> oh man. I don't think there's an autosave. I don't think there's an autosave function. <sighs> I. Mm. Let's see. Oh my god. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta redo all this. Um... <laughs> oh no. Alright. Yeah. Well, see you guys, see you guys later. <laughs> it stinks. Alright. All right. All right. <laughs> Sometimes this happens in Zelda games. Thanks to uh, a lack of autosave features. Yeah. All right. This is going to be it for now. I'm going to be spending the next part of my day just doing all this over again. And, uh, yeah. See y'all next time.